What is up, car addicts? Welcome to my first Need for Speed Heat customization video. This one's going to be for the Lamborghini Aventador S. So I do apologize that it took so long for me to finally post a customization video for a car in this game, but um, the reason for that is because you see these internal modifications here. They require a lot of grinding and doing these uh, high heat races, which means you have to have you know a high wanted level and then lose the cops and then in order to do them it's just a big pain in the butt but it's hours and hours and hours of grinding but I finally got you know I unlocked all of them so I can fully max out this car in this video and the visual customization as well so I don't want to just do and you know visual mods and then nothing else I actually want to you know every time I post one of these I want to post out every car maxed out I really want to do that so you guys can see how fast it goes you can see this card in the stats, it says potential horsepower of 1200 for the 730 it has stock, so that's very impressive. So let's go ahead and see what kind of visual customization we got here. Let's go to body. So we got the wheels, we got the front canards. So you got two single canards, then you got the double. Not, um, this is not a track car, I don't really like canards, so I'm going to skip that. Moving along, we got front bumper, so we got the stock one. Then you got a Liberty Walks. And then you got the Mansory from Bumper, which looks pretty sick, so it's all carboned out. So I'm going to do the Mansory body kit on this whole car. I think it'll look pretty sick. Then buy that. Moving along. Front splitter. You got the stock one. Got the Liberty Walks Performance. Carbon. Carbon. Warsteiner. And the Carbon. The Warsteiner one's pretty nice. Let's do that. Okay, moving along, got the hood, we got the stock hood, and you got the Mansory hood. Again, so you know, kind of match that carbon. Very nice. Moving along, we got the headlights. So these are just different colored headlights. This is like a light tint, and then everything else is just, you know, full on different colors and stuff. Um, I think the light tinted one is okay. Let's do that. We already saw the canards, they're on the other side. Moving along to the front fenders, you got the stock, you got the mastery there, and then the Liberty Walks Performance, which is like more of a wide body, to the angle here. Very sick. And you know, just a note, you saw that if you hold uh, the right trigger, you can, the car will start up while you're customizing, and then you just hold the brake to turn it off, it's actually pretty cool. Let's do the mastery there. We'll leave the wheels for last. I'm moving along to the mirrors. You got the stock ones, and you got these race ones. Mastery mirrors, which are the stock ones and carbon. Looks pretty sick. Alright, let's do those carbon ones. Those are sick. Okay. Do side skirts. Let's change the view here. From stock to that. That's the Vorsteiner. Liberty Walk. And then the Mansory. The Mansory one's sick. We've got a lot more carbon. Okay. Rear fenders. We got the stock. The Mansory. Oh, that looks. It's got like a carbon line going across. That's pretty sick. And like some extra vents. And it's got a slight wide body to it. That is awesome. Very clean. And you got the Liberty Walks one. So definitely Mansory. Okay, tail lights. So you got the stock, and you got a light tinted, and then a full on dark tint. I'm gonna do a light tint, I like that. Kind of match our lightly tinted headlights as well. Going along to the rear bumper, you got the stock, and then you got the Liberty Walk, and you got the Mansory, which is all carboned out. That looks insane. Got exhaust, stock, and you got all these different ones here. The Mansory one looks pretty sick, but I can't, I, you can barely even see it. Like it's, it's so, I don't know if it's glitched out or it's dark. Or maybe it's just, um, see if I'm trying to rev it up there, you can see. I can barely, it's like a, I think it's a quad exhaust in black. You can, you can barely see it. So that kind of sucks there. Let's change the view back again, close. Um... No, I might keep the stock one. It's like a triangular shape. All the other ones look kind of weird. 
Yeah, let's keep the stock one there. I actually like that. That's nice. Let's try to shut it off there. License plate. So we got the plate frames. I'll just throw a me for speed one on there. And then you got the plate backgrounds. I'm not gonna show this for every video, but I'm just showing it for this one since this is my first one for this car. I'll do that one. And we got the uh, edit text so you can change it to whatever you want. I'll just put something generic. Just Lambo, there we go. You can put whatever you want. And moving along, rear spoiler. So that's the stock one, and the stock one is active aero, so when you get going, it goes up and all that. Um, but obviously, when you apply one of these fixed wings, you lose that functionality. You got the Vorsteiner, then you got the Mansory, which kind of connects to that rear bumper. That is so sick. Love that. AR Performance, Liberty Walk, Voltex, and then the Need for Speed one. So let's do the Mansory one. That, that looks so amazing. Wow, that back end is sick. And then sound system, this really doesn't do anything. Not that I know of. I mean, they have it in every one of the Need for Speeds that have been out recently, and I haven't really seen it do anything. So, I left it for last, like I stated before, the wheels. So I'm going to change the wheels there, change rim. Um, there's, there's, a hundred, there's over 100 wheels on this game, so there's a decent variety, and they're all real wheels. Um, you have HRE, you know, it's just pretty sick the way they do this. Um, I went through all of them, and I kind of like this one the most from this car. It reminds me kind of like the SV wheel a little bit, and that's what I was kind of going for. And it's HRE, which is a good brand, so let's throw those on there. I'm going to paint them black, don't worry. Do that, and then we got to change the size. There we go. Yeah, this. Oh my god, so funny you make it that small. Next out there. And then, um, this is kind of cool too, how the, some of the wheels have primary and secondary paint colors. So you can see, you know, that section, well, let's just kind of show here, there you go. So that, you can see there the difference between the primary and secondary color of the wheel. So I'm going to do the black, apply to front, secondary, black, awesome. Okay, next up we have, uh, doo -doo -doo. back out of that, you got the brake calipers, you have the stock Lamborghini calipers. Then you can kind of go through all of these. Usually I just pick one of these if I want a different brake caliper color. It's kind of like the only way you can do that. We'll do the Brembo's on there. And then you can change the brake disc as well. So these kind of remind me of carbon ceramics. So I'm going to throw those on there. And then we're going to do the same for the rear. Uh, do -do, change room. Pass it. There it is. It's so funny how it makes it, <laughs> it makes it so small when you. There we go. I probably should have done the paint after to just apply it to all. Uh, secondary. Go. Okay. Then the two calipers. The same Brembo's, oh. and then the carbon ceramic looking disc. Break this, there we go. Oh yeah, awesome. So I think that's all of it. So now let's get to. Oh, actually, we didn't show the tires. I'm only going to show this in this video. Um, you know, it's just tire lettering. It's basically what it is. This one changes the, tr the tread pattern. No, that's pretty sick. I didn't even notice that. Oh wow, this one has a different tread pattern as well. Okay, I did not. I did not. I'm finding this out right now. I didn't even know that. Oh wow, these are full on slicks. Look at that. That's insane. That's pretty cool. I don't think there's there aren't, there aren't too many games where the tread pattern changes. Oh wow, look at that old style with the white walls. Wow, that's cool. Let's throw the semi slicks on here. I think I have to do the same thing for the front as well. Yes, I do. Unfortunately, I wish there was a apply all option for the tires as well. Uh, it's these, was it? 
Yeah, it was those. Right there. Like a track tire. Holy crap. Okay. Jeez, this thing, this thing looks crazy now. Oh my god. Wow. Alright, let's do paint. We'll do edit the wrap, paint. I I'm gonna paint this white. I was like thick this through, definitely the white. And then we're gonna do we're gonna go to finish. I'm gonna go here and make it um, satin. So satin white with all the carbon. I think it looks pretty sick. Save that. Save. There we go. Alright, and we're not done yet. Let's go on to stance. Now we're gonna lower it. Let me change the view here. You guys can see it a little better. <laughs> I just cabbered out way too much. Now that's stock. That's definitely way too high. I think right up one click down from the center, I think is good. And then you also have the camber if you want. You know, that, that's all you if you want to do that. I'm definitely not going to do that. <laughs> and then effects. So you have uh, nitrous color if you want to change that. You have tire smoke if you want to change that as well. You got underglow, kind of like GTA style modifications. Then you got air suspension if you want that as well. And then you got different horns. No, there's a bunch of different horns. There's even boat. We can put that one on a Hellcat later on. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> and I think that. Oh, and then the most famous uh, modification, you know, that people adore in this game, including me. I love this. As the you can modify the exhaust note. So let's go ahead and start it up. Sounds great, stock. Let's give it a couple of reps. I mean, it sounds good as it is. And then here we start going to the right. You can hear how much it changes. This one kind of makes it a little louder. And then here we go to tone. You can hear it changing a bit. I like the stock tone a little bit. This one kind of gives it like a slightly higher pitch. That. And then overrun is kind of like the cracks, pops, and flames that shoot out of it. Um, so you can see here a uh, stock, and then if we start going this way, you can see it just goes crazy like a flamethrower. <laughs> it's pretty cool. They do it on that, why not? And then pipe resonance is um, this is where you can really change the tone of the exhaust note. See, it changes a lot there. good save that and there it is all pretty much buttoned up there's really nothing else except the performance so now we got the, the internal modifications so we're gonna max this thing out it's expensive crankshaft ECU do the horsepower going up there cooling where it gets the big bump is from the turbo upgrade. Well, the force induction upgrade and go supercharger. There's a lot of cool options here, so let's just go to these here. So you have the centrifugal supercharger, you got the root supercharger, which is like a traditional supercharger like you find on a Hellcat, and you got the screw supercharger. Um, then you have the dual turbo charger, which it uses two turbos, but this is kind of like what they use on more uh, modern exotics, so you don't have that turbo lag. They use a smaller turbo and then a bigger turbo, so you don't have that turbo lag at low speeds. And then here you got the traditional turbo charger. And then this centrifugal supercharger, which is kind of like a pro charger. And that's all of it there. So I'm going to do the one that gives the most uh, power, which is the uh, turbo charger, traditional one. Um, this one does show like it, this, was a, this one gives you more, 364, the other one gives you 325. You can, so you can see the difference there in the numbers. So turbo charger. Boom. Now we're at that's it, we're max horsepower. Then let's throw the fifteen pound nitrous bottle on there. Yes. Then we got suspension, so let's put some track suspension on there. Got the elite. It already comes with the brakes, so that's kinda cool. And then track tires. 
Okay. Elite. So it already comes with an upgraded clutch as well. And the transmission too. And then here's the differential. Put our track one on there. And then auxiliary. This is just so we get a little bit more of nitrous power when we use it. When we go after we go outside. Uh, here we go. Nitrous power. Boom. Alright. Got a maxed out crazy Venador. Let's take this thing outside. Oh yeah. Ooh, that top down is amazing. Alright, here we go. Wow, it's loud. Jesus. Oh my god, what a monster. I love the blow off about. Take a few corners. A lot, a lot of understeer. It's all good for that, kind of like what you would expect. Good drift here. It sounds good. Some higher speed handling. Oh my god! Holy crap! Wow, that blow off valve and the flames and cracks and pops out the back. That is sick. Love that. Don't mind me, officer. I'm not doing anything. <laughs> Alright, here we go. We're gonna use a nitrous after we go over the bridge to see what kind of top speed we can get out of this thing. Traffic here. Alright, here we go. Two forty and that's it. That's <laughs> that's all she's got. Wow. That's insane. <laughs> what a crazy car. I have been using the per the performance a lot, and that's how I unlock that's the car I use to unlock all the parts and you know, grind with. And that one does feel a little more nimble, agile, better acceleration than this car. Um, that one does feel a lot faster in my opinion. This one feels a little heavier, um, a little more sluggish I guess you can say. I mean, it's a super car, but at the end of the day, it's, it, is, it is heavier than a Performante. But it's still not bad though. We do have the SVJ in this game as well, but unfortunately, there's no visual upgrades for that, that performance version, which kind of sucks, so that's why I made the video on this one. Um, if you guys want me to make videos on those performance models, like the 48 Pista, uh, the Performante, the SVJ, all those types of cars that are kind of higher tiers, even the Corvette ZR1, the 2019, all those higher tier performance versions of the normal ones, they don't have any visual customization, unfortunately. So if you guys want me to make videos on those, I'll just kind of do um, like a speed test like you just saw now, and just wheels, I guess. That's all you can do to them. Wheels of paint and internal modifications. That's nothing else. I mean, guys, hope you enjoyed my first Need for Speed hit video. Again, I apologize. I know it took a while, but I really wanted to get those upgrades to do these uh, top speed runs and just kind of show what happens when you max them out. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one.